reconstructing an epidemic over time. Infections, rumors, opinions, ideas, information spread over time. Consider group of people represented as a graph. Two nodes are connected if they interact. This can be a phone call, email, retweet, or personal communication. Each interaction happens at a certain time moment. It is easier to represent them on a timeline. People chat and the link of a viral cat video from one person can transfer to another through a sequence of interactions. People keep chatting and after a certain time Kitty takes over the whole network. And now humanity is slaved and doomed to serve these evil fluffy creatures. How could this happen? How has this infection spread? And who has brought it to the network? To investigate it, we have nothing but a history of interactions and rare reports of certain nodes revealed being infected. They could have been infected much earlier. We don't assume any model of infection propagation. People's behavior is complicated, especially if they are infected. Not all infected nodes get into reports. Infection can hide. Not every interaction with an infected person leads to infection. Some of us are resistant to kitties. With the only assumption that infection spreads through a sequence of interactions, we reconstruct the flow of infection in the network and find zero patients. Well, nothing can help this infected network anymore, but our study can save another network from declining.